Well, started to take apart the motor here. I got one more bolt to come out on that cylinder head. And the cylinder head bolts here, I, I snapped one right here. I'll probably have to have that taken out, easy out. I also broke off the uh, coolant temperature sensor on the top. But again, this thing's been uh, corroded pretty badly. So Dolan's taken off the exhaust. Uh, had to go to Harbor Freight and buy a set of cheap $6 wrenches, let me show you, so that I can get a 13 millimeter wrench. So I had to buy one of these from Harbor Freight. I mean, $6, you can't go wrong, really. And some of these here, a hex, hex bit socket set to get that, uh, to get those head bolts out. Um, I also bought myself a torque wrench. So I got a lot of cheap tools here just because uh, I, I lose them a lot. And I got some good tools, but they stay in my truck. Uh, so we're gonna pop this head off and I'm dying to see what the inside of this looks like. All right, so I got the top uh, head off before I take the cylinder head off. Um, I got here, I broke another one. So I have two here, this one and the other one I should be able to grab onto with vice grips. But I want you to look at this, this is terrible. This is, ne this was never properly flushed. You see this right here? I mean, this is, there's pieces of river or ocean or something in there. Sand, I mean, it is corroded to the max. Um, I can't imagine what it looks like under here. We're gonna pop this off. Um, but this is what happens when you don't properly flush your motor out. Or if you sink the thing and you don't rinse it out. I mean, this is all the water and cooling. The cylinder fire happens underneath here. But um, all this, I mean, this is severely, heavily corroded. I'm going to have to have these, these, uh, all these parts acid bathed or something. Uh, the gasket here, I mean, that's just terrible. Look at this. That's bad. So let's pop this off. Oh, man, my blood pressure is fucking delicious. All right, so I had problems. I got one bolt out. Actually, I got two out. I snapped a socket. Man, this thing is just bad. Uh, I'm over here at my buddy Chris's house, like the best mechanic there is. We're gonna hit these bolts, try to take them out. We gotta see what these cylinders look like. What I'm gonna have to do to get these things machined. They're, they're in there. Let's give it a whack here. Yeah, ain't no penetrating oil gonna help that. nail these things at a breaker bar. so far Chris salt salt 
I mean, a lot of people are probably, you're probably asking, oh, a little more on with the impact gun on the aluminum, her. Well, when they're seized in there, what are you going to do? What, what what do you do, Chris? Nothing. What's your, what's your method of getting these out? Break them. Break them? They look like pretty heavy-duty bolts, so this one came out pretty good. I got 150 pounds in the air tank, though. He did crack the heads off. And All right, so 45 minutes into it, my boy Chris here with a breaker bar and an impact gun and a can of that mighty, I guess he gets that from the shop. Mighty penetrating well. Chris, will you be the will you do the honor pull? I haven't even looked at this, guys. I, I mean, this right here. Look at this. I don't even have to hammer the head off. The bolt was pulling the head off the motor. Holy shit! Oh, let's start with the of the heads. Holy shit! Look at the rust and corrosion. Holy shit, dude! Dude, look at that. <laughs> Okay, so here's, um, wow. Okay, so here is lesson number one, okay? I want you all to see why you need to flush your motor out. I don't care if it's just fresh water or salt water. Look at this. These are all the water passages. This is water cooling, what do you call it? Cooling jackets or whatever, Chris? That's what surrounds the cylinder and keeps it cool, all right? It's loaded with salt. The cylinders are rusted. Um, I mean, Chris, do you think if I had these things machined, they they can be saved if they're not egg shaped? I mean, even if they're rusty and corroded like that, can I have them sandblasted and? It depends how bad it's eaten into the case. Unbelievable. Yeah, I don't know, man. Can that be? You don't know if that can be sandblasted. What are they? Acid bath or whatever. You want to put that in the line and snort it? <laughs> I don't know, man. This motor had to have been underwater. It had to have. There's, there's no way anybody would have ran this and not flushed it out. I'm guessing it was full of water. Um, but what I got to do, if Chris will help me. Try to turn it over. No, dude, that, that thing ain't moving. I'm planning on it. The next video, guys, you'll see what I have coming because this turned into a different kind of engine than I thought it would. I'll show you. If you stay subscribed and watch the next video, you'll see what the plans are now. They've changed. But I'm going to try to extract these four bolts here with an impact and see. What, I doubt it. I don't know what's going to happen, but I got to get these heads off because I'll show you why. Here you go, right here. Took the exhaust manifold off. Look at this. I don't know if you can even see that with the lighting. Dude, there's like 46 pounds of caked in shit in there. <gasps> wow. Ooh. These damn things are so seized on there, I don't know how we're going to get them off. Looks like that's starting to budget. I got no option now. Hopefully I just don't bust them. I have to pound it off there. Wow, that's gonna come off. <laughs> wow, more salt coming out than anything. Well, after about an hour of pounding, you can see the sun's already almost down. There's, there's one piston right here. Uh, I don't even know where the hell the ring is. It's there. No, 
Huh? Where? Well, that ain't even a ring anymore. So, I'm guessing not only... Yeah, you remember when I showed you that they had 10W30 in a two-stroke. I'm guessing maybe they ran that thing until she seized. Pretty good. That was one. Although the head... You see, now I'm already after one head. Got the head off and busted it right there. So, that's one head. I'm just curious if this other one's going to come off. Because I saw a jug on eBay for 25 bucks. If we can slide this one off real quick, I'll have to buy two pistons and, uh, how's that wrist pin bearing, Chris? <laughs> Dunsky. Go ahead and move that piston. <laughs> oh, shit, this, that thing ain't even good for a core anymore, man. Look at the salt in there, wow. That's, that looks like a block of salt that's been, that's not part of the engine, that's salt. Oh yeah, there she goes right there. Right there, that's good stuff. Oh yeah, look at that. You make a, it up. You make a line of that, right? <laughs> right there, you got a straw. <laughs> oh, let's see what happens with the other head. Cylinder number two busted right here. There's no way to get these off. These see, these things were heat heat treated with no oil and high temperatures. Looking in the crank here, look at this. Oh, besides the shards of wood from the pounding with a two by four piece. I mean, they were, that's bad there. That is bad. You see where I pounded the pistons here. Look at this, here's the ring on this one here. Where? Yeah, it's, it's flush. Nothing left. Um, both wrist pin bearings are seized also. So I mean, this, this, <coughs> That's what happens. No moss. You ever seen an engine that bad, Chris? No. Think that's rebuildable? No. <laughs> and we cracked the bottom of this piston too. Right here. See where the rod the rod hit it right there trying to hammer that thing off. There's just no way of getting it out of there. Actually, look at this, Chris. What the hell is this? Oh, he's got holes in the pistons on purpose, I guess, huh? Yeah. Must be for the porting intake or something like that. I don't know. Anyways, uh, I guess that's the end of that video for the day. A garbage engine. I don't even think the rotary valve's any good. I'm not even. I'm not even gonna try to look in. I mean, I'm not even gonna open the magneto either. I guarantee this is full of water. I'm not even opening it. The one I bought. I'll show you that in the next video. <clears throat> um, yeah, she's done ski. She's done so. So, uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>